Hi, I'm Sophie Griffiths, editor of Travel Trade Gazette, and I'm here with Tom McAlpin on Virgin Voyages, a beautiful Scarlet Lady. Uh, yesterday was the first day that people got on board. What are the reactions? Uh, people are bubbling, they're giddy, they're excited. It was a long, long day and uh, a long night. We yeah. had uh, <laughs> multiple performances. Uh, I think people are feeling uh, feeling it this morning. I would yeah. say they had a great night. We had a show last night that I. It's, what's its title? The untitled show. Untitled dance party thing. I don't know how to describe. How would you describe it? It's impossible that to describe. That we, we couldn't describe it. So that's why we couldn't give it a name. People wouldn't know what it was. But yeah. it's a dance party. But it's you're a part of it, and things just start happening all over. And the stage moves, and you're part of it. And you're next thing you know, you're dancing with entertainers and it's pretty cool. It's pretty out there for cruise entertainment. It's not your average cruise ship entertainment, is it? We are not your average cruise ship, that is for sure. Everything that we do, you know by now, is about being different, about being very virgin, we're setting sail for virgin. And that's the message, of course, that Virgin One Voyages wants to get out to travel agents. And we have between 800 to 1,000 travel agents coming on board today. Nice, yep. Yeah. And right. then there's going to be a further 1,000 plus visiting in the We've got a bunch coming today to do tours. We've got groups coming tonight to, uh, to spend the night and then we're off to Liverpool and we do the same thing in Liverpool. We're just showcasing this beautiful ship to the, the British market because this is, this is our backyard. I mean, this, yeah. is, this is virgin territory. This is where Richard, you know, there's where our roots are. And so we want a really important market for us to we want to make sure that we showcase this beautiful start leading to the world and to the British market. And why are traveling is in particular so important to you? I mean, you were saying they're the chance to kind of get the brand out. Absolutely. So we have, you know, people know Virgin. Uh, virgin awareness is very strong. Mm -hmm. Awareness of Virgin Voyages is not. <laughs> so <clears throat> we need the travel trade to help us spread the word and communicate this great value that proposition is going to do. And for any agents that don't get an opportunity to come aboard, how would you describe Scarlet Lady to them? Oh my goodness. Uh, it, she is different. She is uh, a mid sized ship. Um, she is designed to, to be different. Everything about her is unique. We've got six fantastic restaurants for you. You get to go to a different restaurant each night. We've got entertainment that you talked a little bit about. We have a, a theater that transforms into three different configurations. So yesterday, uh, we saw Dual Reality, which was uh, an acrobatic show with a theme to it. Yeah. And then two hours later, it was in platform mode. Uh, and we are performing our, our dance totally party. Transformed. transformed. So it's for adults only. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a much more sophisticated uh, experience for adults. Uh, we use great technology. Um, we take you to some really cool places. Uh, we're starting by doing five nights, five nights, four nights to, uh, to Mexico and to uh, Puerto Plata, the Dominican Republic. Soon to be Barcelona with the with the Valle Lady in the uh, next uh, next summer. Uh, we also have uh, together a fantastic beach club experience, Virgin Voyages Beach Club yeah. at Bimini. It's not traditional, you know, cruise ship. Uh, the, the, Beach destination. It's a beach club, yeah. and it's lush with palm trees all around. Um, it is. Uh, it's got these curated experiences. Two fantastic pools where you can just chill and listen to great music, or, or just do all the thing of thing of it. So, with all that in mind, who is the guest of Virgin Voyages? Well, our guest. Um, uh, first of all, starts at eighteen and over. So, yep. uh, but it is people who are young at heart. People want something different. They want to have fun. They want quality experience. We're all about um, creating a, a very uh, upscale, sophisticated experience, but not overly pricey. Um, we are a premium product, but at a great value. A lot is included in here that people don't realize. Your gratuities are yeah, included. Big thing for basic Wi-Fi that is included. Um, your basic beverages are included. Fitness classes, uh, all of those things are included in the price. And we've got a broad range of guests. We've got a 93 year old lady booked on, but then we've got 30 year olds as well. So I think 30 and younger, yes. Younger at heart, said. Absolutely. People want to come and have some fun. Yeah. Fun, fun and lastly, at TCG, we're all about championing smarter, better, fairer travel. And Virgin Voyages seems to really emulate that as well. Can you telling us about carbon offsetting? Yeah, and so um, the oceans are part of our brand purpose, and we are a purpose led company. We call it an epic sea change for all, and it's across multiple pillars of sailors, our crew. We want to create an epic sea change for them, it's for our communities, and it's for our oceans. And we have put a lot of effort into minimizing our consumption of fuel um, with, new, with different technology, reducing our waste, uh, focus on recycling. But we've also said, look, we can't wait for the future. Um, we are a consumer of 
two, and so we are uh, in a decision that we're going to offset uh, and be carbon neutral so at the beginning of this year. So we're the first company to do it from day one, being carbon neutral. Brilliant. You can read more about that on TCG Media, and we're going to go off and check out the rest of the ship. Thanks, All right, Tom. thank you.